Hey everybody, Lori Frederick here. A while ago, I put out some exercises for strengthening and stabilizing your shoulders. And those exercises involved weight bearing on your hands, on the floor, um, in many different angles all around you, okay? Um, one thing that you need to know if you work with your hands a lot and you're very strong, maybe stiff in your forearms, is that this weight bearing position puts a really big range of motion on your wrists and sometimes it bothers the wrists. So it's important to kind of progress up to that range of motion because you do want all of it so you don't end up compensating with your elbows or your shoulders when you're doing those things. One of these, um, one of the tools I really like are some sort of a push-up stand. There's a couple different on the market. These are power stands. I like these because they have a little bit of angle to them so you can switch up which direction you're gonna put them. Um, they're very stable. You can also use a dumbbell with a, a hexagonal head is great. So it has a flat side. So you're gonna have more stability during that. The other thing that you can do is use a chair, a coffee table, the back of your truck, anything like that to where you can hang off the side and your fingers are hanging off the edge. All right, on a chair it's great because you can even go to the side if it doesn't bother you as much. This is gonna be less intense than your full fingers flat and that full range of motion. Another thing I like about doing this on the chair or something else when you're not fully weight bearing is I can even lean into this in this angle and it's not my full weight and body weight going into it. And that's another way to progress through it because we don't want a wrist injury when we're trying to strengthen our shoulders. So hopefully this helps uh, you understand how to progress all the cool things that you can do while weight bearing on your hands. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below. I'll see you on the next one.